Hello everyone, it's Steve and Eliana and who are you? Judah. And Judah with the travel bags. And we are sitting here in our trailer. Um, we're on tour right now somewhere in southern Wisconsin. And uh, we are sitting here relaxing and enjoying our what? Where are we sitting, Ellie? On a couch. On a couch? On a couch! On a couch, you silly! This wasn't always a couch. At one time, this was where our dinette was, right? But the dinette wasn't working for us, so we decided um, that it was more important for us to have uh, two couches rather than a dinette and one couch. Um, anyway, so today's episode is uh, going to be going back and, and uh, show you how I converted our dinette into our couch and uh, a sofa bed. Before we get to the video, I, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Tick the little bell notification button to be notified when new videos come up. And also make sure you like this video and, and leave a comment if you uh, uh, enjoyed it. The first thing we had to do was the joyous task of getting rid of that ugly dinette. Found all kinds of cards that were probably missing. Stuck down behind the dinette. And the disc. There's a postcard. Oh, the caravers too. Ah! Ooh, Jamestown. We've, we've been there. Ooh, we should go. Explains why we have a postcard. <laughs> Apparently, somebody didn't get their postcard. Now that the space was clear, I had to finalize my design and how I was going to actually build this couch. So the first thing I did was repurpose the table. Uh, we didn't want to not have a table, so what we decided to do was, with this table, was to cut it in half and make two small tables that would mount in front of the couch. And then we could set it up and take it down anytime we wanted to. And for the couch and bed platform, I decided to use 3 8 inch plywood and some lightweight furring strips to kind of stiffen up the structure. And this actually made for a pretty strong but lightweight structure. Then I made two separate platforms and I hinged them together so I could fold it up into a couch and lay it down flat into a bed. I was really engineering this uh, couch as I went along, so I got Elizabeth to just help me out and test out the angle of the back of the couch, make sure it was comfortable. After that was made, I made the uh, base of the couch, and I made that out of uh, two by two furring strips. Uh, like I said, I wanted to, I was going for a balance between lightweight and very strong, so, and I think I came to a nice balance there. Uh, with the furring strips to uh, form the base of the couch and the bed. Then I got some table leg hinges and I made some legs that would attach to the edge of the platform so that when it is uh, pulled out into a bed it supports the edge of the platform. And, but they also had to be retractable so they would be up and out of the way of the drawers that were underneath of this platform. Um, and they're pretty easy to operate. They go up and down fairly easily and they, uh, when they're down, it really makes it quite a solid platform and a solid bed. Next I made the armrest um, that would have cup holders and also this would be the storage area for the tables that I was going to make. And 
you might notice that some of the wood looks a little aged there and that's because I repurposed as much of the old table as I possibly could. You might be wondering why our instant pot is down there. I just had to make sure it fit because it's going to be stored underneath the couch. I also wanted to make sure the tables fit in their storage area, so I stuck them down in there and made sure they fit perfectly. And of course at that point, the basic structure of the couch and sofa bed was complete. And of course the next thing I had to do was to make it all purdy. For me this was the least uh, fun thing of the project. Um, I mean I love working with wood, but you know upholstery is not my thing. So, And of course I didn't have all the right tools and everything, so I did the best I could. I used uh, you know pretty rudimentary techniques, staples, and um, you know, just did the best I could. For the cushions, I got upholstery foam from Amazon. Uh, it was a pretty dense foam and about four inches thick, and it really works pretty well. Uh, I also wanted to cover these uh, with the material in a very easy way. I didn't want to have to use any sewing machine or, or uh, zippers or anything like that, but I did want to make sure that these were removable uh, so we can wash them. So what I did was I got this uh, plastic snap kit from Walmart and it comes with this little gun and, and has these snaps that you can put on and I just basically kind of gift wrapped these cushions with these snaps and it worked out pretty well. It's not the most, you know, the tightest fit, you know, it's not something that uh, you would get from a furniture store or something like that, professional upholstery, but it works. And lastly, I had to build the drawers that went underneath. Um, so, and I had to design these drawers to where they fit around the wheel well that was there. So that's why they're kind of all weird looking. Um, I didn't use any uh, gliders or sliders or anything like that. I didn't use any hardware. They just basically slide in and out and uh, that way we maximize the space. That was pretty much it. All right, so now this, of course, is the end result and the transformation from dinette to couch. Uh, first thing we want to point out is the uh, drawers underneath. And this is a uh, easily accessible drawer where, where we store all of our, a lot of our Thrive Foods. Um, they fit nicely in there. In fact, I designed this drawer specifically for fitting these number 10 cans in there. Pots, Pots and pans under here. And then, of course, more food over there. This is Elijah. He's going to give us a demonstration. Show everyone how um, we set up the tables. And remember, we used to have one table. Now we have two, right? So let's show, just show one table, just, we've got these uh, little bracket mounted to the floor, tables are stored inside the um, cup holders, where, yeah, underneath where the cup holders are, and that goes, hard. that goes in there, anyway, then the table is stored down inside there. got this little mount underneath it and that's it and so now instead of one big table we have two tables as the other one goes over here um, and that one is stored in there then of course when we're done using it it's just as easy to put it away as it is to uh, um, take it out, There you go. All right. 
All right, next thing, Elijah's gonna show you how his bed is made. We've got these, um, he's gotta put the legs down first. Okay. And then unlock it. The bed is, or the couch is locked into position by these little locks here. Okay, then all he has to do is just pull it out. And that's it. How easy is that? And it's a really sturdy bed, I tell you. It's uh, very, very useful. Is it comfy, Elijah? Yeah. It is. Yep. We all oftentimes will put put the beds out uh, out here, uh, and because now we have two couches, uh, we put the couches down into beds, and then we watch movies out here. Okay, put your bed up, back up, Elijah. Let's let's show them how easy it is to do that. Wait, show them the handle. We got a little handle back here that uh, we put in so we can grab uh, the back side and pull it up. And then he just slides it right in. Puts the, locks it back into place. Puts the legs up. The legs go up so we can access the drawers underneath. And that's it. That's our new couch. All right, we love the uh, the design of this couch so much that we went ahead and and tore out the old couch on this side, and uh, and I built uh, a couch here. Now this side was uh, th this couch over here was the actual jackknife couch that came with the trailer, and um, it was just getting disgusting. It was yeah. rusting. It was you know getting wet and moldy and mildewy, and the uh, uh, storage there really wasn't any storage underneath here so um, we stored stuff underneath here but it really wasn't you know meant to be storage so I built these little this is where the slide is so this this is a little bit different as far as uh, the structure um, so but I built these little drawers that can be easily uh, slid out we, we use it for shoes and things like that and then, of course, the slide mechanism is underneath there, and then, so it has to be accessible. So that's why these things just kind of slide on the floor in and out. Another thing that I was able to um, do is, hey, Ellie, why don't you get up and then show them, let's show them where we store the piano. I repurposed the, um, some of the wood from the dinette, and I built this little area back here, this little shelf area behind the couch and this is where we store our keyboard so it sits down in there and it's easily accessible go ahead and put the, the lid back on Ellie uh, <laughs> and that thing just pretty much just pops in there and that's it so and then of course the girls have some some more room to store some of their stuff on top of that their stuffed animals and things like that so Anyway, that's that's our couch. And we love it. So now we have two couches, right?